1990, I was uh, conscripted into the Greek army, born in, in Australia, but uh, because I had Greek blood in me and was there at the age of 18, I had to go into the army. And I was um, put on standby, it was at the time of the Gulf War, and we, were f uh, we went from being um, um, civilians to supposedly combat ready in like six weeks, and they had us on standby to go to the Gulf to fight uh, as allied troops with the Americans. Uh, we had a hundred bullets and three grenades at the time, and we were in full combat fatigue for two weeks. Um, and we didn't really know why we were gonna go fight. We were told that we just had to be on standby and we were on active standby. They didn't, what I'm getting at is, is we were conscripts that had to serve and all we knew was that we had taken an oath till death and that we may well get dropped into a war zone uh, and thankfully, we didn't really know why. They banned all media. They didn't, we didn't know. We just knew that. And we were actually told to shoot traitors if any of our co-soldiers ran the other way or refused to fight, that they were worse than the enemy and we should kill them first. And now with the every war that breaks out, I can't help but think of the conscripts. They're quite often lied to. They don't know why they're fighting. Very often the infantry grunts that are conscripted aren't paid. They're not dressed well. I had to, you know, hustle to get boots that fitted me. Um, and all we knew was that we may well go into war. That's all we knew. And you were a traitor. You were, um, you deserved prison. You deserved death if you refused to fight. And that's all we knew. We didn't know the politics behind it. And a lot of these Russian soldiers now are claiming that they, they didn't know what... They were told it was just exercises. And quite possibly they were lied to. They don't want to be there. And they're put in a situation where if they don't fight till death, they might be killed. Even if they return as surviving prisoners of war, they might be killed. I'm just saying, I guess, that... Oh, I'm so lucky I didn't end up going to war. Um, it scarred me for life just being on standby for war. Um, and I just can't help but think that they're just poor kids that have been forced into the army and lied to to go and fight or you die, basically. I, I just, I guess I'm just sort of mentioning this for, as perspective from someone who was in an army and was on standby to go and fight and was confident that I'd be killed, imprisoned, whatever, if I was sent to war and didn't fight. They actually banned media while we were on standby. We had no media. Mind you, this is before all, um, all you know, smartphones and everything. Um, but we weren't allowed newspapers, anything. All we knew was that we were in full combat fatigue. We had taken an oath till death, till the last drop of our blood. And we'll be a traitor, possibly killed, whatever, if we didn't fight. So that's the predicament many poor soldiers. And these conscripts are not paid. We weren't paid. Um, and they're often poor kids from poor families. And I guess it's just a bit of insight for whatever it's worth. Because I see these poor Russian soldiers saying that we were lied to, we were told they were just exercises, etc., etc. And once they're there, they have to kill, or, or they'll even be shot by their own country if they refuse to fight. It's just terrible that the poor common person pays for the insanity of political leaders. That's all. I don't know.